2017. 101. We're, we're into the hundreds. Watch Player is an Apple Watch app that allows you to play podcasts offline from your wrist and also output sound via the Apple Watch speaker. Let's check it out. The first thing you'll need to do is to head over to the App Store on your paired iPhone and download Watch Player. You can find the link in the description. From there, you just tap the button in the upper right hand corner to add a podcast feed manually or to search the iTunes podcast directory. So you have two buttons there. The link button allows you to add the feed manually. So if you know the RSS feed of the podcast, you can put that right there. Or if you want to search the iTunes library, you can do so as well. So I'm going to search for 9 to 5 Mac to find the Happy Hour podcast. If you haven't done so, you can subscribe to that using the link in the description. And you can tap on the podcast to add it to your list of feeds. And from there, you just tap on the Happy Hour link. And that will take you to a list of episodes. And from there, you just tap on the episode that you wish to download, and it'll download just like that. But you don't necessarily have to stop there. You can actually go ahead and download another episode if you wish to do so. And it doesn't have to be from the same podcast. It can be from different podcasts as well. So I have to download it now. And once I'm ready to send that over to my Apple Watch, I just tap the button in the upper left-hand corner. But let me mention that transferring episodes over to your Apple Watch can be very slow. Even if it's a small podcast, it's still going to take a while. So for that reason, I'm only going to transfer over one episode. Now, if you want to, you can tap the episode to alter its start time. And this is useful for those podcasts with very long introductions. And also, if you just want to skip to a particular part and you know the timestamp, you can do so with this. So now let's launch Watch Player on the Apple Watch. You'll see it says no files. Now it's time to tap the transfer button on our iPhone and you can see now it says receiving. And like I said earlier, this takes a while. It takes about two minutes and 30 seconds for a 25 megabyte podcast. So you probably want to keep the amount of episodes that you transfer over to a minimum. So obviously I did speed that process up so you weren't waiting the full two and a half minutes. Uh, but you can see now that the episode has successfully transferred over to our Apple Watch in the Watch Player app. So now let's test it out. So as you can see, once you tap the episode, it starts playing immediately. You have the transport control, so you can play pause. You can skip back five seconds, skip forward five seconds. You have your volume controls. It tells you the title of the podcast, even though it's truncated. Um, so you're not going to get a lot of controls here. It's very basic, but it does work. And best of all, you get offline playback right from your Apple Watch, and it can play back through the Apple Watch speaker. So the app design wise and feature wise is fairly basic at this point, but I do have hopes that it'll be updated in the future with additional features and customizations. Again, Watch Player is a free app available right now on the App Store. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.